Hi and welcome to another training video and in this video tutorial we will be learning how to create assessment family 2 so I'm going to briefly show uh, what does the family looks like so here you go assessment family 2 and if you haven't seen family 1 you should go and check it out there's already a video for assessment family 1 as well which is this simple basic geometry table here and now we are doing assessment family 2 so i recommend you to take a photo of this uh, image or um, save it in the, your computer so you can refer to it because i will be closing this image the moment i start uh, modeling so just take some time to take a picture of this model so you can reference as i go through with you how to create this particular uh, table okay so I'm just gonna put this at the side and you will have to reference it from I don't know your desktop or your phone that would be fine and we'll start with going families new matrix generic model as usual building the skeletons which is the reference plane one here and here and the other one here and here okay do the eq and the dimension so this will represent the length of the table and this will represent the width of the table with the eq sign this will be the length and this side will be the width okay so that is the basic shape of a table and we need it to be 1200 in length 750 in width so i'm just going to change that okay and uh, create extrusion rectangle uh, all four sides lock all four of them press the green tick and we're done with the top of the table and we go to the front elevation basically two reference plane one for the thickness one for the height this will be height this will be thickness this will have to have a parameter this one will have to have height here and let me see what else do we need okay so i just going to align the table top to the, the reference plane of thickness here and make sure to lock them there you go and we can actually go to the let me see the shape a little bit more we can go to the left elevation to create the legs of the table but before that i just want to adjust the height to be 900 as specified by the assessment table so i'll leave it at 900 and i will start drawing the shape so you can start drawing the legs of the table using an extrusion because uh, there is actually no curved surface so we can use a basic extrusion and just to check the dimensions a little bit um, okay let me see it's 100 and so it's 50 away from the sides okay so this would be 50 and uh, I just want to probably do the measurement later I'll just draw the kind of the outlines of the table okay so the first thing that I know when I look at the second picture of assessment family 2 is that this corner will be 50 away 50 not 20 and this corner will be the same which is 50 away from the reference plane okay and since it's not parametric i can actually lock both of this and i want to align to the top the thickness for this is actually only 25 so there's a reference plane use the reference plane this will be 25 and it's also non-parametric i should lock it lock uh, this sketch line to this one because they are actually this line is already locked at 25 so this line can follow the other side and let me see what else do I need
and the legs at the bottom of the table is towards the end okay so I'm just going to lock this and lock it to the bottom as well and same for this side here this is actually 200 so I need to set it as a hundred on one side and a hundred on the other side just going to change my scale a little bit so it's more visible so this will be 200 I shall lock it as well and let me see what else do I need okay the height from here to this point is 50 so I need to make some minor adjustment to make sure it's 50 Okay, I can't change this probably because of the lock. Let's see if it works. No. Okay. So instead of, uh, I'm just going to shorten it just by dragging it. Same for this one since I can't use the dimension. So this is 50. And here, it's also 50 away. So this is 100. So it's 50, 50. I'll just draw a line across here. And so uh, this is 50, this is another 50, and this shall connect with one another. So I'm just going to demolish or delete this side and just mirror it onto the opposite side. Use the trim command. So now you can see that here is 50, here is also 50 as shown in the picture. This is 200, this is 50 away and yeah that's that's it for the shape press the green tick and we need to go to our um, reference level okay before i move this i just want to make sure that the difference is let me see the difference should be the thickness is 50 so i'm just going to put 200 and 250 so that it becomes i can do a dimension to lock it as a thickness of 50 and it should B 100 mm away from the side of the table so you notice that uh, you can't move this when you select the object you need to actually click on the object and click on the associate work plane so that it can move horizontally on a horizontal axis so click on this and then click on the object again you should be able to type in 100 just lock the 100 because it's again not parametric this leg shall be on the opposite side wait can't mirror this okay since we can't mirror i guess we have to copy huh copy doesn't work as well okay let me see about it let me figure this out here from the final division maybe can't make extrusion base sketch for extrusion is invalid. So I'm just going to go back to my left elevation to see what's wrong. And it's probably these two dimensions over here that needs to be removed. And I'll try to copy again. Hmm. Okay, this is strange. I should be able to. Let me just not dimension anything and see if that's the issue it looks like that's no problem i'll just go back to the left elevation this is 100 i shall remove this one okay maybe it will work now yes it does so that is the problem okay fine um the reason why i kind of narrow it down to this is because I should have done the EQ here. It should have been the EQ from the start. Press the green tick, go to reference level. Try the copy again, should, shouldn't should be a problem. Yes, yeah, so I should have done the EQ instead of locking it as 100. So for these two uh, legs, I just lock it as 50. Dimension. And I mentioned here as well. So this is not 310 but a hundred. Okay, lock the hundred. Uh, this idea lock. Okay, I didn't lock, so it's lock as hundred right now. And there's also a kind of a void in the uh, right 
uppermost right hand corner of the table. So create void forms, void extrusion, put the circle, and the radius is 25. Okay, radius is 25. I don't care about the position at this point in time, I just need a void that is 25 in radius as you can see here. And it's not parametric, so I don't have to create a dimension for it. I uh, don't have to create a parameter for it. Just leave it here. And it's going to go to 3D view. And the void. Let me see. My table thickness is not correct. My table thickness should be 50. Okay. Um, let's care about the void again. So I'm just going to drag it all the way up here. And lock it. Okay, wait. Let me lock it here. And drag the bottom to the bottom of the table. Okay, here, bottom of the table, lock it. And I need you to use the cut tool to create a hole in the table. So I'm just going to position the hole because there is a specification uh, that it must be 100 mm away from 100 mm away from the table legs. So you probably can't do a dimension like that if you want it to be the center. You can only dimension in the center of a circle if you are in the edit sketch mode. So now I can actually do a dimension. That's 100. Lock it. Press the green tick. That's all. It's always going to be 100 at this point in time. And there you go. Um, you have your family created. Uh, the last thing is the material. So the legs must have a material. And a little the tabletop will also have a material. Okay, this is not frame, sorry, this should be um, legs material, not frame material. Okay, this shall be the tabletop material. Press the OK button. And last thing, go to the yellow uh, button over here, change it to furniture, press on OK. A few other things such as the family type. Um, type number one is actually one two zero zero L times seven five zero W times nine hundred H. And height, length, thickness. Okay, I just want height to be lower. Thickness will be lower as well. Okay, something like that. And the the values are appropriate here. The model should be TLB. Dash C1 description is called computer table. Okay, and a new one because this each assessment family has two family types. This is a larger one, larger table. Okay, here is one five zero zero. That's the only thing that changed. Just rename it a little bit because it's not capital here. And this will be TLB dash C2. Computer table as well, nothing changed. Just press the OK button and save it. So that's all for this assessment family 2. And stay tuned for 3, 4, and 5. And if you haven't watched assessment family 1, there is a previous video on it. Just go and watch it. Thank you so much.